For centuries, humanity has gazed at the night sky, wondering what secrets might drift in the darkness between the stars. We've mapped planets, traced comets, and catalogued thousands of asteroids, all under the belief that our solar system was a closed neighborhood where everything followed predictable rules. But every so often, the universe reminds us that we're not the only players on this stage. The James Webb Space Telescope, built to peer back in time and capture the first light of galaxies born after the Big Bang, has now turned its gaze on something entirely different. Not something distant, but something close, something fast, something alien. Astronomers call it Three Atlas, an interstellar traveller moving with such speed and precision that it cannot be explained by natural means alone. At first it was dismissed, as just another rock, a fragment expelled from a distant star system. But then the anomalies began to pile up. Its orbit was too exact, its surface too reflective, its movements too deliberate, and now, with Webb's instruments capturing the clearest images ever taken, an uncomfortable truth is emerging. Three Atlas may not be a comet or an asteroid at all. It may be a machine, a machine built by hands or something far older and far more advanced than our own. And if that's true, then its arrival is not just a discovery. It's a message. When Three Atlas was first detected on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey, it appeared to be nothing more than a faint speck against the black of space. But within days, astronomers realized it was extraordinary. Its speed was clocked at over 133,000 miles per hour, faster than almost anything we've ever tracked, and more alarming still, it wasn't bound to the sun's gravity the way natural objects usually are. Its orbit was hyperbolic, meaning it came from interstellar space and would eventually leave again. That alone placed it among the rarest objects humanity has ever discovered. Only the third confirmed interstellar visitor, after Oumuamua and Borisov. But unlike them, its trajectory was unsettling in its precision. It swept near Jupiter and Mars, then slingshotted around the Sun, perfectly timed so that Earth was on the opposite side when it made its closest approach. To some scientists, this was coincidence. To others, it looked like avoidance. And Webb's first images confirmed what many feared. Three Atlas was smooth, reflective, geometric in ways that defied natural formation. Instead of tumbling chaotically like a rock, it rotated with a steady rhythm, as though stabilized by an internal mechanism. Natural objects don't fly like this. Machines do. When Webb locked onto three Atlas, scientists expected jagged irregularities, the familiar signature of icy debris. But what it revealed shattered expectations. The surface reflected light, like polished metal, shimmering with an unnatural brightness no cometary ice could produce. And then came something even stranger. Webb detected faint, repeating thermal signatures, not random emissions, not chaotic jets of gas, but measured pulses of heat, released at intervals so precise they resembled code. Natural objects do not send messages. Yet here it was. An interstellar visitor radiating patterns that hinted at intent. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who once argued that Oumuamua might have been artificial, pointed to these findings as the strongest evidence yet of engineered design. Look for non-gravitational acceleration, he warned. And sure enough, Webb picked up tiny course corrections, shifts in trajectory too subtle to be caused by sunlight or random outgassing. Something inside three Atlas was steering it. Faz data poured in, the story only grew stranger. The thermal pulses weren't random, they followed sequences, First prime numbers, then Fibonacci patterns, then ratios suspiciously close to P. These are the hallmarks of communication. Mathematics has long been considered the universal language, the one way to prove intelligence across the stars. And here it was, written not in radio waves but in heat. Some speculated the message was aimed directly at us. Others feared it wasn't for us at all, but for someone else, another receiver far beyond our reach. And then the silence began. Government agencies that once shared data openly locked it away. Observation logs vanished, databases froze, updates went dark. Journalists searching for answers found only redacted reports and vague statements. And in that silence, theories spread like wildfire. Was Three Atlas communicating with Earth? 
Or can were we eavesdropping on a conversation that was never meant for us? Every new discovery makes the artificial theory harder to dismiss. The reflective shielding, the stabilized spin, the coded signals, even faint electromagnetic bursts detected by Webb, all of it points to design. If 3 Atlas is a probe, then someone out there has mastered interstellar travel long before we ever dreamed of it. But what's its purpose? Some say it could be a surveyor, cataloging planets as part of a vast network. Others believe it might be a relic, carrying out a mission long after its makers are gone. And then there's the most chilling theory of all, that it is a sentinel, deliberately timed to reveal itself now, now that humanity finally has the tools to notice. Its silence, its avoidance of Earth, its strange but unmistakable patterns, all of it feels less like coincidence and more like a test, not of our science, but of our readiness. As scientists tracked it further, one detail stood out. Its trajectory avoided Earth with uncanny precision. Statistical models showed the chances of this happening by accident were almost zero. It wasn't wandering, it was navigating. And if it was avoiding us, the question becomes, why? Caution, strategy, surveillance, or something else entirely? Webb's thermal scans revealed another layer of mystery. One side of three Atlas was always oriented toward the sun, reflecting radiation with impossible efficiency. Was it shielding? A solar sail? A cloaking system? Whatever it was, it wasn't natural. It was engineered to endure not just years or decades, but millions of years in the cold of space. And then came the most unsettling discovery yet. Faint anomalies in Webb's images, dim reflections, possible companions trailing in its wake. Could three Atlas be part of a swarm? A caravan of probes scattered across the galaxy, each collecting data? If so, then this is not a lone visitor. It's part of something much larger. At first, news of three Atlas spread quickly. NASA, ESA and independent observatories released updates freely. But as Webb's images grew clearer, that openness began to vanish. Data once public was suddenly restricted. Reports were censored. Agencies went silent. And yet whispers leaked through. Hints that Three Atlas was too deliberate to dismiss, that governments knew more than they were saying. Even Elon Musk weighed in, hinting that Webb had captured the clearest evidence, yet that we are not alone. Was he speculating, or speaking from knowledge the public doesn't have? Three Atlas was supposed to be just another rock, a fleeting curiosity, but Webb has revealed something far more unsettling. Its reflective shield, its precise trajectory, its strange thermal code, its possible companions. None of it points to randomness, it points to intention, and intention means design. If this is a machine, then somewhere in the vastness beyond our sun there are makers, beings who have already mastered the ability to cross the stars. What they want, and why they've chosen now, remains the greatest mystery of all. Perhaps they're watching, perhaps they're waiting, or perhaps they don't care about us at all, and we're simply eavesdropping on a mission far bigger than ourselves. The silence from agencies, the coded signals, the careful avoidance of Earth. All of it feels like a test, and the truth is, we may not be the ones deciding the outcome. The universe has sent us a messenger, and whether we're ready or not, it has stopped being a question of if we are alone. The only question left is what happens when the silence finally breaks.